Welcome to another episode of Chat and Chew. And today's episode is entitled Mental Health and Nutrition. And it's looking at food for the mind. But before we get into this really very relevant and important topic, I want to introduce to you my awesome nutrition and dietetic students who are in their last year here at Loma Linda. They'll be graduating in less than a year. So let's get to know them. To my farthest right, I have Miss Loradel Ferry. Loradel, where do you come from? Yes. Hi, Dr. Naval. Hello. My name is Loradel Ferry, and I'm originally from New York, born and raised, but I currently reside in Loma Linda, California. Yay. No New York and accent. Everyone says that, but no, I think that's more so for people who are in like Brooklyn and Staten Island. <laughs> Got but it. I'm from Yonkers. Okay. <laughs> very nice. So you were living in New York. Why, why did you come to Loma Linda University? Yes. Or how did you choose Loma Linda University? Yes. So I really liked the fact that Loma Linda emphasizes holistic care and emphasizes the different facets that make mm. up an individual's health and well-being mm. so that's mental health emotional health spiritual health and that really aligns with who i am and who i want to be as a dietitian beautifully said thank you, thank you. all right miss yesenia hello hi hi where do you hail from so i am originally from santa barbara county in a small yeah. town um, named santa maria and mm -hmm. I now live in Orange County, um, so yeah, not quite in Loma Linda, but yeah. it's a one-hour commute. I know, I was going to say, that's <laughs> a, a long commute, actually. Yeah, but it's, it's very worth it. Oh, <laughs> that is wonderful to hear. So what sparked your love for nutrition? Um, my interest for nutrition started in my undergrad education, where I kind of didn't make my own health a priority. And I had a lot of professors that um, emphasized to me the importance of nutrition and the impact that it has on our overall well-being. So I took mm -hmm. some very interesting public health classes oh. and I was able to see just the role that good nutrition has on overall health, quality of life. And yes. ever since then, it just skyrocketed. And after graduation, I immediately started looking for um, programs and Loma Linda really stood out to me. So here we are. Fast Yay. forward. <laughs> so blessed that you're part of the program too. All right. Thank you. And last but not least, we have Miss Linda. So Linda, where do you come from? I'm from Ventura, Ventura County. Mm -hmm. So not too far, but you know, uh, I'm here now. <laughs> yes, exactly. And whenever I hear Ventura, I just think of really good food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Once you have RDN by your name, what is your ultimate dream job? Well, most recently, I've piqued an interest in a travel RD position, you know, yeah. getting to learn about um, how these other hospitals manage their dietetics programs and then also just exploring different states. I'm, that's going to be fun. Yeah. Fun and exciting. I'm excited. Yeah. Great. All right, ladies, you all have a great topic that we are going to dive into. So my first question is this. From the amazing, fascinating world of research, how does the quality of what we eat actually impact our mental health? Yeah. So our... The quality of our diet actually has such an intricate connection mm -hmm. between our mental health, and that's mm -hmm. because nutrition and our brain have such a unique relationship. And as we've learned from you in our class, the gut-brain axis or yeah. gut-brain connection. Mm -hmm. Essentially, the diet that we hold and follow, it helps produce these neuro neurotransmitters, right. such as serotonin, dopamine, and it helps regulate that. And, you know, there are feel-good hormones. Yes. Also, to think of it as an example, in simpler terms, when we are withholding food or we just haven't had a day of eating well for ourselves, right. you know, we hear the term hangry and it's essentially, <laughs> yes. um, you know, we're putting our body through this stressful time and, you know, those cortisol levels increase. Right. And, you, yeah, you end up as not so happy person. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. Yeah, you nailed it. 
you you were really li listening in class. So. <laughs> Excellent, fabulous. Okay, but ladies, what about deficiencies when it comes to vitamins or minerals? Does that impact our mental health? Absolutely. I feel okay. like when mm -hmm. people think about mental health, they don't really think about the impact that nutrition plays a role, but yeah. we have some important vitamins and minerals that actually play a role in keeping our brain healthy, mm. keeping those feel-good hormones in yeah. balance. Um, so some of these vitamins and minerals are magnesium, vitamin B12, zinc, omega-3 fatty acids. Ah. All of those play such an important role in the mechanisms in our brain, and specifically vitamin B12 uh -huh. is... Um, when, we're, when we have good levels of vitamin B12, it helps the production of our serotonin and our dopamine, which are our feel-good hormones. Yes. And when those are in good balance, that means that we would just feel better overall. Mm, <laughs> that is wonderful. So, you know, there's nutrition, but then there's more to the story than that to help us manage our feelings of depression and anxiety. What about talking about lifestyle practices. So how does sleep or exercise make depression worse, anxiety worse, or yeah, what about that? Does that play into that? Yeah, of course, absolutely. Okay. So when I think one of the things that I learned in throughout this program was that we can't just focus, as future RDs, we can't just focus on nutrition. Correct. We also have to mentor, guide our clients, patients, that physical activity rest and sleep are just as important. And when it comes to mental health, the, the story doesn't change. So physical activity and sleep are great, but in excess, anything can be harmful and they can actually throw our body off balance. So if you are prioritizing physical activity, but you're not prioritizing rest, it can ultimately lead to burnout Mm -hmm. It can increase your cortisol levels, which will then in turn mm -hmm. impact your mood, your mm -hmm. performance, um, and just create this like cycle of just negative feelings. Right. Um, and when thinking about mental health, you have to think about your physical activity, your nutrition, your sleep, your rest to working in harmony mm -hmm. so that yes. they can offer you the best potential benefits for your overall well-being and your mental health. Ah, I, I love that. I love how everything is connected to help us with our, our health in general, really. Yeah. So that's great. So when it comes to our mental health, specifically trying to minimize depression or anxiety, what about foods that we should keep to a minimum? Not necessarily avoid, but keep to a minimum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yeah. we want to first off start by saying that no foods are good or bad. Mm -hmm. Some are just more nutrient dense than others. And those that don't have as much nutrients, mm -hmm. we just want to keep in moderation. Okay. Yes. Yes. So to start off, we found based on our research that foods that are found in a typical Western diet, so ultra processed packaged foods, mm -hmm. um, red and processed meats, refined grains, and sugar sweetened beverages and desserts were found to increase one's risk of developing de anxiety or depression. Wow, that's yeah. powerful right there. Yes, and we thought it was beneficial to tell everyone about the importance of managing our blood sugar in order to keep our mood stable and yes. to help and support our emotional health. Yes, ah, thank you for bringing that in about blood sugars. Because it's not just those with diabetes mm -hmm. that nice. should be looking out for their blood sugars, but really all of us. Yeah. So yes, important that, I'm so glad that you mentioned that. Yes. Okay, was there anything else that you were gonna share? Yes, so studies have shown that drastic fluctuations in our blood sugar, specifically found in foods like sh added sugars and refined grains, causes our blood sugar to drastically increase and then decrease. Yeah. And sometimes when this happens, this causes our blood sugar to decrease so much that right. glucagon, a hormone in our body, yeah. needs to be released to increase our blood sugars to normal level. The problem with this is this stress now in our body causes stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline to be released. And that makes us feel anxious and irritable. And if that persists, that can lead to mood disorders as yes. well. Bingo, nailed it, yes, yeah. mm. okay. 
All right, ladies, let's switch gears a little bit here. Uh, what about antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acids, that type of thing? Does anybody want to address that? Yes, so okay. we were specifically looking at cognitive function and some of the nutrients that Yesenia spoke about before, yeah. B12 and zinc, they're really important to help us maintain our cognitive function. So that's things like helping us be able to think, make decisions, and problem solve. Two nutrients that we also wanted to highlight are antioxidants and omega-3 fatty acids. So antioxidants are these compounds found in foods and they help to protect us from free radicals. And free radicals are essentially these chemical troublemakers in our body. And when they wreak havoc, they can cause inflammation, increase our risk for disease, and also damage our cells. Mm. So antioxidants found in berries and dark chocolate, we can eat those and then that will help to reduce any inflammation and decrease cognitive decline. Yeah. Similarly, omega-3 fatty acids found in healthy fats or are healthy fats, and you can find them in chia seeds and nuts. And they also have these amazing anti-inflammatory properties that also reduce the inflammation and can help us reduce our risk of depression and anxiety. Ah, yay, excellent. So now it's time for some practical tips. So how do you ensure that your plates get all of these nutrients yeah. that we just discussed? And it's actually really mm -hmm. simple. You wanna have fun with it. Make sure your mm. plate is colorful. That's really just one key way to look at it. Include a variety of different foods, and also try. Don't be afraid to try these different recipes. Um, you know, I've enjoyed going on Pinterest and just looking up mm -hmm. one new vegetable that I want to try and how I can mm -hmm. prepare it differently. Um, and here today, we actually have three different recipes that we're going to show with everyone, nice. and that is our uh, quinoa salad, yes, our charcuterie board, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. a moon mood boosting smoothie. Yeah. I can't wait. And you know what? I, I'm glad that you mentioned Pinterest because Pinterest has a lot of amazing recipes, right? right? You could just continue to create that board and mm -hmm. just continue to pin that. Mm -hmm. So are there other resources or other sources, other places to get good recipes? Um, or any website or any one person that you follow and you're like, oh, they always have good recipes. Yeah, I think I tend to get a lot of my recipes from Instagram, not from people okay. that I specifically follow, but there's Got so it. much good content out there nowadays yeah. from reputable um, RDs that are mm. offering all these different recipes. And interestingly, each RD has their own little niche. Mm -hmm. So True. on Instagram, mm -hmm. if you just go on there, you type in something, you'll get all these options and you can find one that better suits you, interests you. Mm -hmm. And most of these RDs have recipes on their yeah. page. They have a link, they have a cookbook. Mm -hmm. right. And That's they true. and the best part is that they give you information on what this recipe is providing for your body. Very they yum. give you a ton of information on the nutrients, the mm. macros that it has, what yeah. this recipe might do for you. Um, so Instagram has been my go-to. Yay. <laughs> and when Yesenia says RD, she's talking about the registered dietitian. <laughs> yes. And that's who we are. <laughs> so yes, and these ladies will become that in, in a few months. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yes, exactly. So true. Okay, so what about you? I'll give you the last word on um, where do you find your recipes? Yeah, so I'm a big foodie and I love trying different restaurants. So I actually like to create them at home. Oh, and good idea. See if I can add more like nutrient dense fruits and vegetables to them. I I think this is a really great idea. Yeah. And um, yeah, those are usually what I normally tend to do. That's a great way of doing things. Wonderful. Okay, ladies, I know you already mentioned the recipes you all are going to make. So please go ahead over there to the table and show us. And we can't wait to see what, what goodness will come out of there. All right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with our quinoa salad. So Yusenia is going to... Go ahead and be my little chef for today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first, she's going to start by cutting up this bell pepper, just you know, thinly sliced into cubes. Right. And yeah. I will actually. I already prepared the quinoa. Here, I'll pour it into a bowl. This is also like a super easy recipe 
that you guys can prep ahead of time, store, and then just grab on the go. This is like probably my favorite aspect of this recipe. Yeah. And quinoa is actually one of like the best things you could eat. It holds magnesium, iron, zinc, and folate. And it's actually a pretty good, decent source of protein as well. Yes, that too. And fiber. Would you say fiber? No. And fiber. fiber. <laughs> and the bell peppers that we're adding is a great source of vitamin C. So fun fact, if you add vitamin C to plant-based iron sources, it helps to absorb the iron. Yeah. Good point. So as she does that, I'm going to go ahead and put in our garbanzos or chickpeas. <laughs> Depending on what side of the country Depending you are. <laughs> I called them garbanzo beans for the longest time until this program. I thought they were always <laughs> garbanzo beans. Yeah. Right. And so for this recipe, I did one cup of the quinoa with two cups of water. There is a, one can of garbanzo beans, one can of black beans. She did about half a bell pepper. Yes. If you have a larger bowl, go ahead and throw it all in there. Look at that color. So pretty. And then lastly, second to last, we have mango, and I did one full mango. And you're gonna do half a cup of cilantro. You could also do mint if you like. It is completely up to you, your preference. And I forgot there's also red onion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for the mango. I've never had mango in a quinoa yeah, salad, and I just feel like it'll give it such a good taste. Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and add yeah. Yeah, red onion? I'm going to add some red onion. So here goes in the red onion. That was about like... I did half so cup. I cut half of red onion, but again, up to you and, and red your preference. onions are a great source of anthocyanins. Ooh. A garnish of the cilantro. Okay. It's okay. I love cilantro. Mm -hmm. Great. We're going to go ahead and mix this up. I'm going to use this. Right. Uh, I think as I mix this up, if you want to start on the charcuterie board. Yeah, of course. Okay, so next up we have our charcuterie board. And these are my favorite in a social gathering. They're so easy to make. They can be so versatile. And I'm so happy that I get to share, you, share with you in a way to make this nutritious and it can support our mental health. So, um, like I said, it's super easy to assemble. So we're going to start off with our multi-grain crackers. And these are a good source of whole grains, um, fiber, and it does have a good source of um, like our nutrients like magnesium, zinc that you can find in whole grains. So this is what they look like. I'm going to place a few. Place a few on here. There's also some flax in these crackers, so it's a great source of fiber as well. Yeah. We can start off here. We also want to include that this is a vegetarian friendly charcuterie yeah. board. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. And next up, these are rich in magnesium. These are figs. Um, figs actually right now are currently out of season, so I opted for some dried figs. But if they're in season, feel free to grab the fresh ones. They're so yummy, but these are just as yummy as well. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit here. Look at that color. So pretty. I know. I thought, like, <laughs> having them dried was going to ruin the color, but mm -hmm. they're still so vibrant. Okay, so there's our figs. And now we have our nuts. We have some walnuts and some almonds, and this is where we're going to get a source of our omega-3 fatty acids, um, which is also going to support our brain health and just support all those important functions in our brain so that we can, um, you know, feel good. So here are our walnuts and our almonds, and you can get these in like whatever variety you may want. These are rosemary almonds and they're super yummy and these are just plain um, walnuts. So next up we have, let me see, I have so much to include in this board. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna start seeing the pop of color. So we have some bell peppers. As Laura Dell said, they're rich in vitamin C and antioxidants. So we're just gonna place these here. 
And you can place the stuff on your charcuterie board however you want, whatever aesthetic you are going for. Um, you know, you can personalize it, make it more you. And then we have some fresh cucumbers, which, fun fact, they're a good source of water, so they will help you stay hydrated. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't think about, like, food as, like, a hydration mm -hmm. source, but yeah. we get a lot of water from our foods as well. Yeah. So I'm going to place these here. Also, remaining hydrated is a great tip to also manage your mood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to cut the avocado for you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay, so moving on to our fruits and some veggies. We have some strawberries that I'm going to place right here. I'm trying to make this look cute. <laughs> <laughs> so much color, yeah. right? It's so nice. Mm -hmm. When my plate looks colorful, I just... Like, it makes me that much more excited. It's like a mood booster for me. <laughs> and carrots, rich in yeah. beta carotene. Great for eye health. Yes. And then some blueberries. They're mm. great. And then, and then our sweet. cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Here. Also rich so. in lycopene, another antioxidant. <laughs> Do you think bell peppers taste different based off of their color? I don't. <laughs> I, think they taste, I think they taste the same. <laughs> so, and we also have some jam that you can use as a dip for any of these components you see here. It's a raspberry jam, but you can use whatever you want. You, there's um, some chia jam that you can use for fiber, for a little bit extra fiber, but we're using raspberry jam today. Here you go. And you scoop out this avocado. Ooh. Okay, so our <laughs> avocado is ready. So also a great source of our healthy fats where we're gonna get some um, omega-3s. And you can pair this with anything on this board as well. There it is here. Very yummy. Oh, looks great. Okay. And there we go. And a moment so. for the avocado. A perfect so. <laughs> avocado. It is such a satisfaction when you open up an avocado and it's just absolutely perfect. It's like a whole other type of pleasure. <laughs> and now for our cheeses. So this, our cheese, we have some cheddar cheese and some Swiss cheese. And the cheese will also give you a little slice of protein. Um, and also those important vitamins and minerals that we talked about earlier. And we're just going to place a couple of slices here. And that's which ones? This is our cheddar. Cheddar cheese. and Swiss. Swiss. All right. And last but not least, and the star of the show of this <laughs> board is our dark chocolate. So fun fact, I did not know dark chocolate was rich in magnesium, which is another reason to love it. And like I said, <laughs> magnesium will support your brain health and your overall mood. So... This is my little treat for this board, and I'll just place this around. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. And there's Here. no wrong way to do a charcuterie board. There isn't. She's just really good at it. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, the, um, there you guys go. That's the charcuterie board yeah. to support your mental health. And now we're going to go to our mood boosting smoothie. Yep. So we're going to start off by making this mood boosting smoothie. So we're going to start with a handful of spinach. So spinach is an excellent source of folate, and that, as Yesenia said before, helps to um, folate helps to create our happy hormones like serotonin and dopamine. Oh. And also, it has such a mild flavor that if you put it in a smoothie, you can't even taste it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a great way to get your veggie, veggies in too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then we have one half cup of Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt is an excellent source oops, of protein. So this is gonna help keep our blood sugar stable. And also, um, thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah, thanks. Keep our blood sugar stable and keep us full for longer. Additionally, Greek yogurt has probiotics, so they're gonna keep our gut very happy and healthy. Mm -hmm. yeah. very and we, we want that. That also, our 
gut health is important for our brain and yeah. mood. Our gut brain access. Gut you brain about. access. <laughs> yeah. And then we have some peanut butter. Yum. About a tablespoon. And this contains healthy fats and a little bit of protein. And it will also help to stabilize our blood sugars as well. So into the blender, a tablespoon of pro mm -hmm. peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. Like so. And then we have one banana. And bananas are rich in potassium. It's also rich in tryptophan, which also helps to create um, the neurotransmitter serotonin. Right. And then we have chia seeds, a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. Into the blender. And then for its anti-inflammatory benefits and a little bit of a kick, we're going to add some cinnamon. Yeah. So a dash of cinnamon. That's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just going to blend this up like so. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> but we actually have some here ready for you to try. Here. We have our so, little taste testers, whoever wants to try some. I will try one. Oh, and I want to try some too. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yes. And we can cheers a little taste cheers. test. Cheers. Cheers. To mental Ooh, health. To mental yes. health. Cheers to having good, great mental health. Mmm. Mmm. She's a fan. <laughs> so <laughs> yummy. Yes, it is. So yeah. yummy. My, oh my, I'm definitely a fan. And you can't even taste the spinach. <laughs> no. Wow. Okay, I want to taste the rest of the things y'all yes. made. Okay, I'm going to go over here and what a beautiful charcuterie board. Thank this you. Is Our quinoa salad. Okay. Just get a little bit of everything in there. A little mm -hmm. bit of everything. Perfect, I will right? join you. Yes, please do. Please do. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my! I want to eat the whole thing. And now, our chicken board. Let's look at this right here. Wow, the jam! I mm -hmm. like the idea of the jam. And the the dried figs. I have never had dried. They're very figs. yummy. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Let's go ahead and see this little combination here. Hmm. Mmm. Mm. All right. Yeah. I could do this again and again. <laughs> mm. Beautiful. Wow, ladies. So, okay, so Miss Yusinia, how often do you make a charcuterie board like this? Quite often. I am really? I'm such a social person, and this is such mm -hmm. an easy way to, you know, when you have friends over, and yes. being social also helps your mental health. So I, I'm, I like being around people. and That does yeah. help our mental health. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not so, staying in isolation, yeah, yeah, 100%. but connecting, so good for you. Yeah, so I do make them quite often. <laughs> and this is a, a beautiful way to bring people together. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Because food isn't just fuel. Mm -hmm. It is, it is. We can't yeah. deny that. But food can bring people together. Mm -hmm. You can create memories yeah. together. It yes. bonds us and then just naturally our serotonin levels then will, will increase. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. 100%. Yes, all these are so like on par to also helping our gut yes. be happy as well. And so the gut, the brain, they always talk to each other. So everything that the ladies here made for you, oh yes, jump on it because it will help your mental health. Thank you so much for joining us today. Join us for another episode. Bye. 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 <laughs>